everyone, Kendall here, and today we're answering your questions for the Q&A. I know, 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 I speaking Korean what have you I've actually already made a video on that so I won't be answering that in this video but if you're interested I do have some videos I already talked about it I'll link that down in the description box all right ready let's start with Instagram question who is your favorite k-pop group I don't have one so the thing is I'm not a huge k-pop band person I'm more likely to like a song from a group more so than like I like the group. I've done the whole fangirl thing, it's time consuming and at the time I had the time to spare and I just simply can't do it. Also I'm not 15 anymore so how attached I feel to people I don't know has, has drastically changed. With that said, I do really like BTS songs, Big Bang is still killing it. Aren't they coming out with a new song if it's not out already? Um, I'm a Dean. Lover, God, Bay, Crush, essentially all of just music for those of you that like rap. Diamond D is Bay, AOMC, the whole crew. For you indie lovers, I'm a Hyogo fan. Are they still considered indie? I think they signed with Tablo's company. Tablo's also good. Do you think learning about Korean culture has made you think differently about American culture? Yes. It made me question how great individualism is. For those of you who live in the States or are familiar with the States, we're really big on like, we're individual, we're unique, we're this, we're that, right? And don't get me wrong, that's cool. That's really good as well. But there are cons to that, because when you go to say Korea where it's less about I'm an individual, where it's more about I'm part of a family, I'm a part of a society, I, I am kind of like contributing into like a broader society that's not just me which has its own pros and cons all of you are conformists you don't have any individuality and a person from korea could be like um you're selfish you don't think of anyone but yourself so it's like there's there's truths to both of these and there's pros and cons to both of them so it really makes me question like what aspects of each i would like to apply to my own like outlook on things say say you had a boyfriend if your boyfriend and your father switched bodies and the only way to switch them back was to get down and dirty with one of them would you choose your boyfriend in your father's body or your father in your boyfriend's body i would choose neither they would just have to stay the way they are and then i'd break up with my boyfriend because that's creepy he feel some type of way but whatever make any friends that you met in korea that you still keep in touch with how much do you love them this is tammy <laughs> hi tammy how are you yes i do and i love you very much how do korean people in general treat you for being a foreigner with darker skin um I don't know if I'm the best person to ask about this, to be honest. If you've noticed, I've never done like a video on being black in Korea because I don't, I'm not sure I'm the best person to comment on that considering, as you may have noticed, a lot of people don't know if I'm black or not. <laughs> so actually in Korea, I got a lot of, is your mother Korean? Never is the father, it was always assumed that it's the mother. Is your mother Korean? Like, are you half? And I'm like, no. So I think that would have skewed like how I'm perceived because a lot of people believed that I was half and when I told them no I mean they didn't change their amount of interest actually I think it stayed the same for people that knew off the bat that I was black they pretty much wanted to be friends <laughs> um, and uh, I, I was the one that was like no nah, I'm all right how do you get to travel back and forth to Korea so this one's I've, I've briefly answered this before but I guess I'll be a little bit more concrete um, I am a student in the United States at I'm an undergrad I'm senior year <laughs> terrified but because of that I've been able to apply for scholarships like large scholarships to travel abroad of that abroad I did flas the first time I went and then I did a large grant that was at the university I'm at in the United States. So that's how I went over, like the main bulk of the costs was covered through that. And then I did GoFundMe's like everybody else. 
like they were down in the description box if you wanted to give you could so i've always been very appreciative for you guys wonderful wonderful people that out of their own goodness of their heart thought that they could wanted to give to this random person that they don't know so I always feel very humbled by that. Also people were like coming at me like Kendall she's just begging for money from her subscribers and I'm like when did I ever say that you had to give me money? I said if you would like to I'd appreciate it but anyway. Do you see yourself ever dating a Korean? I mean I don't see myself not dating one. If I, like there's nothing I could see about me not like saying no I'm not gonna date Koreans but then again I don't see anything in anyone that would make me want to like no I'm not gonna date this ethnicity this race or whatever I don't I really don't care all right now for YouTube question when you first went to Korea did you experience culture shock no actually um Actually, I didn't have like a culture shock moment until the second time actually I went to Korea. I didn't have a problem the first time. First time I was just chilling. I think I had a much, much easier transition than a lot of people would have because I go to a university with a bunch of Koreans <laughs> and like I'm involved in a bunch of Korean related things. So it's not like, oh, if this new specimen of human I've never seen before. Now it's everyone's Korean instead of most people. Oh, okay. Would you ever consider moving to South Korea to live? <sighs> yes, but only while I'm a single woman. I don't think I would want to live there and get like married and have kids and build a family and build all these things there. Uh, any tips on starting a YouTube channel and how do you deal with haters? I mean, the only advice I really have is like just do you like don't try to be anybody else because what happens is people can tell it's very it's very obvious people are gonna call you out on it so it's like it's just easier to just you know relax and as far as haters go it's not my job to deal with haters it's their job to deal with me they came onto my video I wasn't bothering them I didn't ask what was in their makeup regimen or how they feel about stuff or their story times and if me being me has left you shook in some way I'm not sorry <laughs> because that's my job <laughs> I mean I'm kind of joking but I'm, but not really because like I don't know who you are you know who I am what does that say little little guilty pleasure there is nothing that makes me laugh harder than hater comments because it's like me just being me has 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 struck a chord with you and that says a lot and I appreciate the love all right so that's all the questions and answers for today if you guys have any more questions as always don't forget to leave them down in the comment section so yes all right I'll see you guys next time bye